Hey guys, uh, my name is Combs, and we're gonna be talking about something that's pretty, uh, pretty near and dear to my heart today. Pretty near and dear. Pizza. I mean, just sorry, not no. We're gonna be talking about how to grow a YouTube channel in 2019. This is something I've thought a lot about. A lot of people have talked to me about this. And frankly, guys, I haven't been doing YouTube that long. And for a long time, I wasn't doing it at a high level. Just the way that I've kind of gone about it has sparked a lot of conversations and questions that a lot of people have asked me. It's like, well, your channel's not that big, but you seem like you've gotten to where you are in a different way than most people do. Like you don't have any like crazy viral videos. You just seem to steadily be growing. And I was like, yeah, you know, so that's, part of the way that you have to do it in 2019. And this is a lot different from like 2015, 2016, or even before, because before like nobody really did YouTube for entertainment. It was like, how do I sew a button back on my pants? Or how do I cook this meal? I don't know what I'm doing with my hand here, but you know, that's what YouTube was back in the day. So like, you know, you have some people, obviously like the big people, you know, our boy PewDiePie, <laughs> you know, Markiplier. I don't know who else, other big people that are huge now, and they've been doing YouTube forever. And that's how they did it, is because they came in as like a pioneering stage. And that's how they blew up, and that's how they got big, because they did it forever, and that's where they're at. So now, in 2019, everybody and their mom thinks that they can be a YouTuber. All these smartphones I can record in five, 5K. Yeah, we're recording in 5K now, boys. In 4K and you can just, you can send it right to your computer, you can edit it with free software, bing, bang, boom, you're on YouTube, and it looks great, and it's just like, man, like, wow, right? Like, everybody thinks that they can be a YouTuber, and, you know, in a way, that's kind of cool, because you kind of can, but to be one that's sustainable, to do it for a career, to make it last, here are my tips for doing that, as someone who's been doing YouTube for almost two years now. First tip that I have for you guys is to have a niche. Right, so for me, if you look through the rest of my channel, the way that I got started was by always playing mobile games, specifically Marvel Strike Force. Now, the way that I chose that was because I sat down one day and I was just like playing this game and I was like, all right, I'm gonna look up this video on the subject. I looked up a video, there was nothing for it. So I went on YouTube and I couldn't find a video on this game for the specific thing that I was looking for. And so from there I was like, okay, well I'm just gonna make this video. I have all of the gear and equipment anyways. And so if you go back, I mean my videos are very poor. I just used a webcam and I think I used like an Xbox headset mic or maybe like a, a Blue Yeti or something like that that I had laying around. I mean those cost like 50 bucks. I probably had like six of them in my closet just cause. And I just made a video from there and I was like, people were like, oh, can you make more? Can you talk about this? Can you do this? And I was like, okay. So I did. And so I made more videos and I talked about more things. And like I said, I've been doing that now for a while. You know, things haven't exploded. It's because the ceiling, the, you know, the height of the ceiling with this specific game, it's not that high. So you could say like, okay, like a regular video, say you do something that's talking about, I don't know, like Twitch streamer drama or something. Well, millions of people can see that and because there's millions of people that watch Twitch and wanna know about this stuff. When you come to Marvel Strike Force, there's only so many people, I think there's less than a million regular players. So videos aren't gonna ever get you know that high, they're never gonna reach that high. And so you think about things like that, it's like, well, okay, so I built a little bit of an audience. So a lot of you guys that are probably watching this video are gonna be from my audience, and you're gonna be like, oh, this isn't a video that we're used to, but I hope that you like it. And so in doing that, I'm making this video because a lot of people have asked me about how I got to where I'm at and what I'm doing and how things are going for me and kind of just like what my tips are. There's a lot of people who are just like really small and they're like, hey, I wanna do this. And so there's a lot of people who are now trying to make YouTube videos on the game that I cover, but now at this point, there's tons of people doing it and it's not really a niche anymore. And so when I started, there was like two other people doing it. And for a game that has hundreds of thousands of daily players, two people is not enough. You know, that that kind of goes on the either way, right? That's two-sided coin. So there's not a lot. So like there's specific people looking for you so you can be discovered. But you also have a low ceiling because it only goes so high because of the amount of people. You know, it's interesting when you think about these things. And so a lot of times YouTubers, uh, a lot of people start and they have a niche and then they expand beyond it. So that's what I recommend. You find a niche, you do it for a while, you get a loyal audience, you expand beyond it to whatever else you're interested in. Now, a big thing, and this is something I've struggled with, honestly, this is one that I've had a bit of trouble with, 
You have to be consistent, 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 consistent. That is the game, the name of the game with YouTube, being consistent. You could post an amazing video that blows up and goes viral and so you get a million views on it and that happens and then you don't post another video for like another month. Well, that video is probably not gonna do very good unless it's some other crazy viral thing. But the thing about YouTube is that you just have to post regularly. Notice how the biggest person on the platform is PewDiePie and he posts videos every single day. And that's so that people will see them. They get recommended. The algorithm just takes off with him because people are watching it, they're liking it, they're leaving comments, they're interacting. And that's just a big deal, right? So that's how you get going in the algorithm. So be consistent. It's hard, especially hard, man. Like even if you're doing, say you're doing videos that are kind of like maybe like not your normal style, like nonsensical. So sometimes I cover news and stuff for games on this channel and those videos don't always do very well, but keeping up with the consistency, it helps with the algorithm so that when there is a better, like a more, a video with more information that people do want, their algorithm recognizes that and then it just it, it will blow up bigger than the other ones do so it's all about consistency because you want the algorithm on your side now obviously something that i am very talented in is the department of either being very good at the game we all know that's not me or being really funny we all know that's definitely me all of you who just clicked away on this video, please come back. But it's like, you have to utilize something, right? Because if you have really good information, like if you're just like, oh, like giving information that nobody else has on new games or music or celebrities or whatever you're talking about, sports, whatever. If you're boring, people might watch for that one video. But if you make them laugh, they'll probably subscribe and be like, well, I don't really care what this dude talks about all the time, but he's really funny. So I'm gonna just, I'm gonna keep this here. You know what I mean? That's my thought. You wanna be funny or really good, right? Because you have like people like Shroud. I don't know, I don't think that he's very interesting at all, but he's so good at games, it doesn't matter. People will always watch him for that. I really like Shroud, so don't don't hate on me. I really like him, he's great. I used to be sub to him, but now he abandoned us for Mixer. I think I broke my microphone for that. I didn't, I fixed it. That's like, those are two things. Like you have to have one of those, like you have to have some high entertainment value or you have to have just high, high skill. If you don't have either of those things, you're going to struggle to get anywhere now you can have again great information and that can carry you so far but only so far start every video with a hilarious joke you know what i'm saying so uh i got one for you guys you ready you ready for this hey combs oh hey man what's up uh i got a joke for you what's the difference between an enzyme and a hormone i don't know man what is it i wasn't listening to an enzyme last night <laughs> You know, it's stupid stuff like that. You want to provide entertainment value to people watching your videos because then you want them to come back and be like, okay, I like this guy. This is funny. This is good. And so this doesn't, this sometimes comes in forms of positive, just really incredible editing. Sometimes this comes from really good humor. Sometimes this comes from being really good at a game or really just well at speaking again, or just quality of video. It just depends, right? There's so many different things, but you need to be great at one thing to do well. Now, maybe at first you don't start off that way. I don't recommend anyone to like, if you've got a channel with like three subs, like you shouldn't be buying like a DSLR camera or like a crazy good microphone or like crazy big anything, you know, really the only recommendation, this is a pro tip for you guys. The best recommendation I give you is get some good lights. Um, lights are incredible. You can buy lights for like 60 bucks and they're incredible. You should be able to afford that. It'll completely change your channel. So that's just a pro tip. I recommend it. Um, lights are amazing. If you have any questions about those, I can probably put a link in the description down below. It's not going to be an affiliate link, but if you just want to buy these lights then it'd be great. One thing that I think is really awesome. And this is something that I've done because other people have done this and showed this to me is responding to your comments, right? So you want people to feel engaged, like they can know you, they care about you. That's one thing I know for a fact that with my audience, you guys are going to watch this video and you're going to be like, Oh yeah, like that's my dude come because I reply to all the comments. I have you guys in my discord. I talk to you, I think pretty regularly. I respond to DMS on discord, which can be exhausting sometimes because you guys like me a lot more than I I think you should, but you gotta respond to things. I mean, that could be exhausting, right? You have a million subscribers, you got like 10,000 comments and you know, 800 DMs on Discord or wherever else or Instagram or Twitter, that would be so hard to answer. That would be nearly impossible. But as much as you can, you wanna respond to these things, especially as a smaller channel. People will find you personable and they will want to come back. They're like, hey, this dude's talking about something interesting. Like he's going to respond to me if I ask him questions and I feel like he cares about me, which I do, but that's just 
something that's so important and I think that's made a difference in my channel as well. So, you know, if you have any questions regarding any of this stuff, please leave a comment below. I'll get back to you and uh, you can join my Discord too. That is in the description, you know, just whatever. Shameless plug. You got to put them in. That's how it works. Also want to let you know, guys, you got to you really have to just utilize social media. Now this is like multiple videos on its own, right? So you can make a video about utilizing Instagram. You can make a video about utilizing Twitter. Those platforms are so powerful for getting your content out there. Now, if you share a video, is it going to go viral because you posted on Twitter? No, but using hashtags and just interacting with people, networking with people, Twitter's a crazy thing. I don't even really use Twitter that much because it's just so crazy. There's so much to it, but I would be a fool to not recommend to you to use Twitter. So uh, if you're thinking about it, follow me on Twitter. Link is down in the description. And I got two more pieces of just information for you guys. The first one uh, that I just want to leave you with is that this stuff takes time. You know, you look at PewDiePie. Um, that's my favorite example. I love him. I think he's awesome. Dude has over 100 million subscribers, but he's been doing YouTube for nine years, nine or eight or nine years. That's a long time to do something like this, to record videos in front of your computer. And like, that's what you have to understand. Like you come out here, you make two, three videos, you make a hundred videos. I have over a hundred videos on my channel. You can make those and you might not be anywhere. And it doesn't mean you should quit. It means you should think about what you're doing. You know, for example, make different videos on different topics, you know, consider doing other games, talking about other sports teams, whatever, whatever you're doing, you can consider changing that. Now, it's just important to realize that you're not gonna blow up overnight. There are very few rare consistent cases of people who have just exploded overnight and then just been able to continue on with that growth. So don't beat yourself up if you've been doing YouTube for six months, you got 3,000 subscribers. Hey, you have 3,000 subscribers. 3,000 people who want, who at some point watch your video and said, I wanna see more of this guy or girl. That's incredible. Great job, seriously, seriously. You're doing an incredible job. Keep it up, you know, don't give up. That's something that I've thought about a lot. Just don't, you can't give up unless you've just decided you, it's not for you anymore. But if you're watching this video, I assume that it is. I just think that, you know, guys, there's so much that each of us have to offer to people. And so just don't give up. If something's not working, try something new and just keep going. But you have to just lean into that and decide that and just get involved with communities and people. At the end of the day, this is going to be about the impact that you have on people. And that's how you're going to grow and make a difference on your channel in 2019. So one last thing I had to say, and this is, I think this is the most important thing. I hope that you guys hear it. And I don't know how everyone's going to feel about it, but it's, it's the biggest thing. Jeffrey Epstein did not kill himself.